most striking thing was how worried he was that al-Qaeda had tarnished its image so badly in the Muslim world by killing so many Muslims uh, in, in the midst of its jihad against the United States that he, he, he wrote in one document, uh, al-Qaeda should change its name and rebrand itself. And I found that fascinating. This uh, al-Qaeda leader brooding in his compound, isolated from all his colleagues, uh, clearly uh, worried that, that, that his organization um, was going in the wrong direction. You know, the other thing that was striking to me was they were very concerned about the drones program in, in, in Pakistan. Uh, they knew yeah, very... The, the unman unmanned uh, yes. missiles that the U.S. sends over into Pakistan right. has done quite a bit of damage. There. Right. I mean, in 2010, when bin Laden wrote this memo, there were 118 of these strikes, many of which had killed his senior lieutenants. So he was very concerned. He was instructing his followers to move to Afghanistan, away from the drone strikes, into remote regions uh, that he's familiar with in Afghanistan. So, and he was concerned about his son, who was also in this area, and telling him that he should, you know, hide in tunnels to avoid drone strikes. So the picture that emerges is of an, of an organization on life support that had very big goals, you know, kill Obama, but very little means to do it. Uh, I think he was concerned that Obama had turned the tables uh, on al-Qaeda. He, he notes in one of these documents that Ob Obama had s successfully rebranded the war on terror. You see, don't see, they, they're not calling it the war on terror anymore. They're calling it the war on Al Qaeda, and that puts us on the defensive, in, in effect. So I think he was he was he was focused on Obama. A couple of months, we're going to have the one-year anniversary um, of the killing of Osama bin Laden. There was a lot of tension at that time that Al Qaeda would would uh, you know launch some kind of you know retaliatory attack. In what shape is Al Qaeda now, and, and should we expect that the anniversary of his death would bring anything more than his death did in terms of retaliation, Peter? The organization is on life support. That's what these documents show. And that was well understood by the uh, leaders of Al Qaeda itself. Um, sure, somebody opportunistically may ch try and do something on the anniversary, but it, you know, it's not going to be a big deal, um, and it's unlikely to succeed.